Have you ever wondered about a disease so rare that it intrigues the scientific community to this day? Let's unravel the enigma of Kuru, a fascinating and elusive malady that continues to pique the curiosity of medical minds across the globe. An intriguing puzzle of medical history, Kuru was first discovered in the mid-20th century. It was among the indigenous four people of Papua New Guinea that this mysterious illness made its initial appearance, astounding the world with its rarity and unique characteristics. As we embark on this journey, we'll shed light on the intriguing aspects of this disease, exploring the labyrinth of its origins, tracing the footsteps of those who first encountered it, and peeling back the layers of its enigmatic existence. So fasten your seatbelts, prepare your minds for a fascinating scientific voyage. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the causes behind this fascinating disease. Kuru, unlike most diseases, isn't caused by bacteria or viruses. Then what causes it? Well, it's the work of prions, tiny misfolded proteins that wreak havoc on our bodies. Unlike bacteria and viruses, prions don't reproduce or feed. Instead, they cause the normal proteins in our bodies to misfold, creating a chain reaction that leads to disease. Now let's travel back in time to the four people of Papua New Guinea. Their cultural practice of cannibalism, specifically consuming the brains of their deceased, unwittingly opened the door to these mischievous prions. You see, when a person died of Kuru, their brain was chock full of these prions. By consuming the brain, the four people were directly ingesting these prions, setting the stage for their own bodies to fall victim to Kuru. So prions, these silent yet formidable adversaries, are the culprits behind Kuru, causing a disease that baffles the world. Uh, let's imagine for a moment, you are a doctor and a patient walks in with tremors, unsteady gait and emotional instability. What would you diagnose? It's a perplexing scenario, isn't it? One possible answer to this riddle is a rare neurological disease known as Kuru. Kuru presents itself initially with a triad of unusual symptoms. The first symptom is tremors, a rhythmic shaking that often starts in the hands and can spread throughout the body. The second symptom is an unsteady gait, the medical term for a change in how a person walks. A patient with Kuru may appear to stagger or stumble, their balance compromised by the disease's insidious attack on their nervous system. The third symptom, emotional instability, can manifest in a myriad of ways. Some patients display inappropriate laughter, while others may swing between moods without warning. It's an incredibly unsettling symptom, not just for the person experiencing it, but for their loved ones as well. As the disease progresses, these symptoms worsen. The tremors become more pronounced, the gait becomes even more unsteady, and the emotional instability intensifies. It's a gradual but relentless assault on the nervous system, leading to severe neurological damage. Eventually, the patient may become unable to move or speak. This stage is often followed by a period of unresponsiveness before the disease claims its final victory. It's a heartbreaking journey, not just for the patient, but for everyone who cares for them. The effects of Kuru are not just physical, but emotional and psychological as well. The disease robs people of their autonomy, their dignity, and ultimately their life. It's a cruel affliction, leaving in its wake a trail of devastation and heartbreak. Understanding the symptoms and effects of Kuru is not just important for medical professionals, but for everyone. The more we know about this disease, the better equipped we are to recognize it and potentially to fight it. Kuru is a relentless disease, leaving its victims in a state of despair. But with knowledge comes power, and with power comes hope. We've journeyed through the world of Kuru disease, a world rich in scientific intrigue. What have we learned? We've uncovered the roots of Kuru, a prion disease that once plagued the four people of Papua New Guinea. This unique illness, transmitted through their cultural practice of endocannibalism, leads to tragic symptoms, including tremors, unsteady gait, and ultimately, death. We've delved into the impacts of Kuru, exploring how it ravaged communities and prompted a global scientific quest. We've learned about Stanley Prusiner's pioneering work in identifying proteins, not viruses or bacteria, as the culprits. 
This revolutionary discovery not only solved the Kuru enigma, but also opened a new field of study in neurodegenerative diseases. In the realm of medicine, Kuru continues to serve as a reminder of the intricate connections between culture, disease and science. A testament to the power of human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge in the face of adversity.